The Saskatoon Separate Cyber School now has about 1,200 sections. 85% of the students are from within the Saskatoon Separate School Division. Cyber School leader Darren Canal says, though, there is room for students from outside the system. The other 15% are the students that are uh, homeschooled the ones who um, are homebound, the ones who have phobias about coming into schools, the ones who are playing on sports teams, the ones who have uh, children at home and can't physically come to school, the ones who didn't finish their high school originally and when they were in high school and need one or two credits, it's perfect for those students. Along with classes, Cyber School now has a guidance counselor and a chaplain. Counselor Dave Knowles says once he got used to doing the job online, it's not so different from the face-to-face -face work. That was a real adjustment as I came to this job because as a a person in those kind of soft fields, you really rely on eye contact and facial expression and body language and all those types of things and you get that in a different manner uh, when you use technology. The chaplain works out of Kindersley. He was added as a result of a discussion board in the Christian ethics class. The students came on and asked the questions then I was in charge of that area and I went looking for answers. Found out very quickly I didn't have the ability to answer some of the questions they were answering. They were asking, excuse me, so then we ended up putting on a quarter-time chaplain. Canal says the whole system now works very well for their students. The nice thing is that with the, with the counselor, with myself, with the chaplain, with your teacher, there's a group of four people there that are available to you at a minute's notice. You could post an email and within 12 hours you're going to get an answer to, your, to the question. It may not be the answer you like, but you'll get an answer to it. He says as well with the academics, online classes have a great deal to offer to the self-motivated students. We teach a resource-based method of teaching online because we have access to the whole internet, which you don't have in a classroom. In a classroom you're restricted to what you have in your head and what you have in a textbook or the resources that are readily available to you there. We have access to the whole internet, everything that's online, and that allows you to put give a much richer approach to most of the subject areas that you're going to teach. Next time we'll look at a signing club the public school division is using as a means of educating our youth. For Shaw TV News, I'm Morag McPherson.